All right, we are back after the reset. Let's see if we can get something going here. Um, we have the only obviously Serenity playing at four claim here against two failure uh, survivors. We already catch Pedro here as the Adam in main. Not much to work with since that window is no longer there. Let's see what they can do here. There's going to be probably a quick M1 to begin the match. Unfortunate here for Foo Failure. I really hope I'm saying that name right. If not, I do apologize. Let's see. Oh, I did not mean to do that. All right. Let's see how Adam does here. Oni right up on him. He's going to try to probably use this window out here in front of the main. Going to have to be careful. Doesn't go for the fake here. Oh, we are going to be seeing a quick down already on Pedro's here. Not good as he is the deliverance player. Only off to a great start. Going to be seeing our first hook here on the Pedro, on Adam. Sorry, I have to tell that to my referee so he can update the score. Sorry about that. Yes, Adam is on his first hook. Claim starting off very strong here. All right, we're going to see if this is bugged once again. If it is, we are going to reschedule these games, so you might not even see this recording, but if you guys do see it, and it is on YouTube, the DBD gods looked out for us. We do see Pop coming in. Maybe we can get this to start. There could be a survivor hiding somewhere. Let's see. Oh, we do see. Very careful here. Oh, the Oni. Oh, he can demon dash now. Nice. We might just be ready this might just work, guys. Ace back on the generator already. Nancy getting close to finishing a gin here. Claudette has to be careful. Doesn't want to get caught. Does have will make it, but unable to get Pedro healed before the Oni comes and gets him down again. We're going to be seeing a second hook state here on Pedro. The Adam. And a generator popping for the survivors here. Very nice gameplay. Only able to stay alive. Does hear that generator being worked on. Ace being very careful not to get caught here. Probably needs to go for the onhook is what I'm assuming because if so, he will be able to put the four other people on. We got Nancy coming around, maybe going for the onhook here. Let's continue. Claudette is on a generator here. Trinity looking around. I think heard the ace here, but gonna go for the pop on the gen here. Cause a little regression here. Let's see how this continues to go. I am glad that we called for this reset. Flame looking very strong, but don't count out you failure ever because they can always come back from situations like this. We do hear a lot of progression on this gen here in the main. Ace working on the gen. Nancy as well too. Claudette just hiding, not trying to get caught. Oh, Pedro's does go down though. Unfortunate. Was caught out in the opening. We are going to be seeing a first K, a 1K here already. Pedro's unfortunately getting tunneled out of this very quickly here. That is going to be a death. When we do see eruption going off here, we did get a stack of pain res. I think Serenity knows this. See the ace here. Gonna go for the kick here on the Jin. Might as well. Has a lot of progression. Was not be able to kick that Jin anymore. I'm pretty sure if that means that. Other survivors. We got Ace running around. Nancy's on a Jin. Claudette about to have two pops here. Gonna have to make this chase relatively quick here on the ace. If the ace plays it smart and doesn't get a hit here, it's gonna be hard for the Oni to get their power. Let's see how they continue on playing this. Only one Jin has popped so far. Ace gonna make it here. We're gonna see a pre-drop. We're gonna have to play a mind game here. We're gonna see a second generator pop in for the survivors here. Very nice so far. 1v3 at three generators. Basically two because we're gonna be seeing a pop. We do see a pre-drop and a vault. Ace is gonna have to be careful here. We do see another generator pop in for the survivors and also another hit for the killer. Now the Oni does have his power up. See how he continues to play here. Gonna break these pallets and probably go try to find another survivor. Only two generators left. Oh, we do find a survivor out in the open. Let's hope that the Oni's dash can work. And it does. 
Very nice here. Never been excited to see a power work for a killer. Oh, gets caught with the mind game. Is going to go down here unless Nancy does something insane. Does it? We are going to be seeing a knock on the Nancy and eruption coming on the generator. Very nice from Serenity. All right, that is going to be the first hook on the Nancy. Ten points so far for Claim. Against nine of few failure. Does probably have enough blood orbs here to get his power up. Very nice here from the killer. Very exceptional gameplay already. Demon Dash does work again. Going to be on the ace here. Ace is going to have to be careful. It doesn't matter. Oh my god, he was able to do it! But it- What? But it doesn't matter though. If he would have got that tech off and then was able to get a, a, a pallet stun or like a pallet drop, I would have flipped out. Oni knows that somebody's lurking around here. Oh, sees him! This could be a second down here! Claudette's gonna have to be very careful! Oh my goodness, let's see how they're gonna play this here. Oni has mad pressure. Is the Claudette able to run away? He's about to be out of his power up. She just has to last a few more seconds. Oh my god, this is so nerve-wracking. Oh, Nancy does hit second stage. Hey, we are! We're gonna see a second stage on Nancy. Oh my god. Very nice. And all survivors are down, unless we have an unbreakable here. It's gonna be a first hook on, uh... On the ace here, Nancy does die. Nancy is death hook. Ace is on his first hook. Let's see. Very good play here from Serenity. Oh my god. Very nice. Yep, that is going to be another hook stay on the Claudette here. We're going to see. I'm going to check to see if, if any... All right, we don't have no deliverance. Okay, no deliverance. So that means that the killer is going to get 28 points to the survivor's nine. Let me update this real quick just so the score can be official. We are going to change it, though, guys, so that we can get ready for the next game. So it is the first set. It's going to be 28 to 9. If my ref here can send me that in Discord, I'd be very happy. 28 to 9. Very nice, guys. We'll be back with the second game of the set after we get ready. It'll be Oni on Lampkin Lane again. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are back with the second game of the first set here. We have Pedro's playing through for few failure. I hope I'm saying that right. I'm probably not, but I tried to learn it. Uh, obviously, Oni on Lampkin Lane going against claim survivors. The win con here is going to be very hard. They have to get a 28 points versus 9. And unfortunately, <laughs> it's going to be really hard to do. But Pedro's already gets a hit here. Establishing a quick hit, which is really good with Oni's power, of course. Oh, and we're going to already see our first down very quickly in the game. Corrupt is already going down here. Pedro's gets the Nancy down here. And it is going to be the first hook on Nancy. Very nice here. Alrighty, sees Kate lurking in the background. She's going to run to this blue building here. Let's see how she plays this. Then I have to play smart. Don't want to take a second hit here. Oni almost has his power. He's probably going to decide to go back to the hook. Oh, he definitely is after that on hook. The Vibers are going to have to be careful here because... All right, because if, if Oni gets a lot of pressure on them, this game could it be quickly over. All right, we do see Oni get his power up. Do you hear a weird noise? That's weird. I wonder if that's a spectator bug. All right, we do hear we do hear Lucas up here. No need to activate power. They probably just M1 her here. Probably gonna do that here, which would be very good use of his uh. All right, Pedro's just has to mind game it. Wow, Lucas not even 
just got the right mind game, I guess. We're gonna be seeing our second knock on Kate here. Let's see if he's able to secure the hook. Pedro's coming in very strong already. Ooh, taking her to maybe uh, taking her to a good hook here. We're gonna be seeing our first generator popping for the survivors here. That is gonna be the second hook state for the Kate here. Pedro starting off very strong. Hasn't used his power up yet. Hasn't caught a survivor out in the opening. Hasn't needed the hasn't needed to be able to use his power yet. Sorry for that. We do see the unhook. Gonna go for a kick to just use pop. Probably gonna see his power up being used here any second now. Just wants to make sure he has a clear line of sight. Yep, Demon Dash is able to be used here. Okay, messed up. Oh, I thought we had a bug here for a second. Oh, I think he caught a survivor out. Lurkin. Survivors need to pop three more gins to win this set. Nancy needs to be careful here. Okay, Nancy does go down. We have a locker grab here. Really couldn't avoid anything here. Just decided to go for the locker grab to waste a little bit of time, I guess. All right, we are going to be seeing our first hook on Nancy. No, second hook on Nancy. Sorry. Get one hook on um, Kate. Sorry, I, I had the score wrong. It's eight points. My bad. Okay, we see another generator popping for a uh, claim here. Pedro's gonna have to put the pressure on. They pop two more gins, they win the set. Doesn't quite have his power yet. Gonna kick this gin. See what the survivors are doing. We have Kate in here in the house. Double working on this generator. Nancy caught out in the opening. Is death hook needs to be careful here. If Pedro's gets this down. It's not going to be good for the survivors. He needs to pressure the generators. Oh my goodness! Finds the Kate. Gonna go for the M1 here. Eruption does go off. Ada's might be in trouble here, depending on how the Oni plays. Let's see what Pedro's does. Oh, is able to get the down on Ada. Very nice. We probably up. We do see a survivor coming in for the for the heal. Is able to put pressure on him. Is gonna be the first hook on Ada here. We do see the quick on hook from the on the Ada here. Gonna kick this generator. Keeps applying pop to that gin. That's a nice little three gin here. Not the best three gin since there is two on the houses. Ooh, does have enough to get his power back though. Very strong. If he's able to protect this three gin. Applies eruption to it. Goes for instant power up. Oh, we hear a lot of progression on that gym. That means we know survivors are out here. Finds Data. Not able to make it anywhere. Goes down again. An eruption applied to those generators. Oni is going to look around and try to find another down as he did before. Oh, Kate. Caught out in the open. Lucas needs to play. Goes down here. Not looking good. If the survivors do pop one more generator here and Pedro somehow gets the 4k, it will be a win con here. We are going to be seeing a second hook state on the Kate here. And the pickup. Oh, don't tell me the Oni froze. I think the Oni's frozen. Is he? No, he... What the hell happened there? 
He what? He. <laughs> I'm sorry guys, but y'all saw that shit, did you? Oh my god, that's great. Oh, that shit is great. He was frozen on my screen, guys, but then he... <laughs> Alright, so I, I don't have track of the score. Hold on, so we got... 369. Uh, 369. 10, 11, 13. Okay. I am sorry, guys, but that was just hilarious. We do see another generator popping. One more popping. Claim wins the set. <laughs> oh, that was great. I thought we were about to see a DC here because the Oni wasn't moving, but fortunately he was. Must have been a spectator bug. All right, Claim does win the set. They're going to go up and up, up one as they pop another generator here. Claim showing their dominance here, man. They played a really good set as the Oni, which just secured them this win here. Pedro's had a very hard win con here. As we have one generator left, let's see how he continues to play. Oh, we do see a knock on Lucas here. This is this looks like it's gonna be death hook. Yes, it will be death hook for the Kate here. Ooh, survivors were doubling up that gen. Yep, Kate does go down here. That's going to be another two points for the killer. All right, we see Oni using his power. We see the last gen popping for the survivors here. We'll see what's gonna happen here. Oh, we do have Unbreakable here. They do open it up. Ada and Nancy are gonna be able to escape here. Yep, Nancy and Ada both escape. The only one that's up is Dania. Let's see how she plays here. Does she get out? Oh, she goes down here. Daz has not been hooked yet, though. Pedro's looking around, maybe trying to find the hatch. Okay, does get the hook. That is going to be 18, 22 points for, for you failure. All right, guys, we're going to get set up for our next game real quick. All right, guys, welcome back. It is your boy, Sick Plays. We are going to be in the first round of the first, second set here. We have Pedro's as the executioner 
And as we can see, we see our four perks coming in. We have Eruption, Pop, Pain Res, and Corrupt Intervention. Looking really good. We already found our first survivor lurking in the realm over here. It is going to be the ace. No, it's going to be uh, Renato. We are going to see our first hit. Lucas is probably going to try to push the Killer Shack. Now, we know how strong the Executioner's power is. So, no no pallet, no loop is safe against this killer. We're going to see a pre-drop, and this is how you have to play against this killer. Oh, let's see if Pedro gets the insane prediction. But he doesn't. It was so close. It does come in the vault. I think we're going to be seeing it down here on the Renato. Oh, is able to predict that prediction. Very nice here. Pedro is in a little slur. We're going to see how he continues to play. Does try to do the, com I mean, the red stain manipulation here. Might catch the survivor off guard. Let's see how he plays. Wait. Oh my god. Just doing an upset. Ex oh my goodness. I, I can barely pro process what's going on here. Oh, we do get the stun, but we also see the down going on the Renato here. Very nice gameplay. Very nice here. From both teams, man. If he would have got that stun just a, a half a millisecond earlier, he would have been able to secure that and not go down. We are going to be seeing our first hook coming on the Renato here. And we are going to be seeing our first stack of pain res. Let's see what the survivors are doing. We have Ace here getting close to popping a gin. Oh, we are going to be seeing two gin pops here. We see one. We see two. Yes, two gins have popped for the survivors here. See how they continue going here. Was an exceptionally good uh, start here. All right, we got Lulu getting playing. Wow, Pedros does a great prediction here. Does get the hit on the Claudette, but it's going to decide to try to go back for that unhook because obviously with that hit... Oh my goodness, we're going to be seeing a trade here. Very nice. Yep, we do see a down on the ace and a hit on Lucas. Lucas is going to have to play really well here. Pedros putting on the pressure on the survivors here. Claim needs to be careful. Lulu does get the reset here. If we see a quick down here, this is going to be very bad for um, Claim here. Yep, he's going to go to comp corner. He knows. Ah! If we are seeing the pickup here. Very nice. We're going to be seeing our second hook now on the Renato. All right, looks like Pedro's did find a Claudette here. Let's see how they play. Wow, just a nice hit there on Lulu. Gonna break this door here on main. Does get killer uh, instinct from the torment. You see Pedro's putting eruption on that generator there. Ace needs to be careful. Pedro's is probably not gonna come here. Oh my goodness, if he would have just went a little bit closer, he would have found him. We have Nancy here on a generator. Staying to keep that pressure. Either Ace or Lulu. Yeah, they're going to try to go for the unhook, but Pedro's is going to stay here. Almost gets the hit on Ace. Ace is coming in for the unhook. We're going to be seeing a trade here no matter what. Wait, hey, are you able to get the body block here? I doubt it. Oh, my goodness. We actually might see it. We do see it. He's going to body block. Renato goes, dies because of the body block here. It's going to be an extra two points for Pedro. And Ace is injured here. Oh, my God. They have to play this very careful. Because Lulu's injured as well, too. I cannot believe we saw a body block. Oh, my goodness. Pedro's showing his experience on the executioner here. We have it down. He is going to go try to look for Lulu or the Nancy here. Only two generators pop for the survivors. Gonna have to be very careful here. Wow. Pedro's is doing an excellent job here. Putting the pressure. We do see a generator pop. That means we know that nobody's on that side to go for the pickup. Our third generator here popping for the survivors. Pedro's is gonna get the Claudette. He goes down. And now Nancy's all alone. This is the exact time. We let's see if Lulu has uh unbreakable. They don't. If we get the down here, it is gonna be a GG's. Oh my god, Nancy's gonna have to pull something. Insane here. Pedro's has all the pressure. Let's see how they try to do this. 
Oh, we see a hit going down on the Nancy. She's going to try to go for the pickup here, but it really does not matter. Pedro's... All right, we see the knock on uh, Nancy, but Pedro's is going to be straight on the ace. Let's see what they do here. There's not much he can do here. The door's broken on main. He does have life, but it doesn't really matter. Almost, but not enough yet. Pedro's ace is still up, hanging on for dear life. Both go down. Wow, amazing here. We put one in the trail, the cages. That's going to be a first hook here for Lulu the Claudette. Looks like Pedros is going to return the favor. A 28 to 9 on this set. Just like Claim did to them on the first set of the uh, Oni. Wow. Wow. Pedros coming in showing them how you play the executioner here. Insane. <laughs> Insane gameplay here. Once we get this hook here on the ace, it will be over. Maybe thinking that the survivors have deliverance, which... Nope, no survivors have deliverance. Pedro's is good here. Amazing, amazing gameplay here. We're going to reset the score. It will be 28 to 9 here. are gonna switch over yep very nice gameplay here very nice Pedro's coming in showing you how it's done guys all right since this game is over we are gonna switch over to the next scene and we will see you guys in the second game of the second set here we might be going to tiebreaker guys unless claim can pull something here holy shit All right, welcome back, everybody. We are in our second game of the second set. We have the Executioner, of course, Serenity playing. Uh, you know, for claim versus few failures, survivors. We see our first part coming in. Now, we see a, an unusual combination. I wouldn't say unusual, but for these games that we've had so far, we have Ruin and Undying, and then Pain Res and Corrupt Intervention. So this could, you know, Ruin and Undying can come together really well. But it depends on how fast if the survivors can find him or not. All right, Ace is being caught here first. Does get hit here, even though that he does have a um, a life. Very good start so far. Probably gonna leave him. Try to go find somebody else. Survivors do not. I don't think survivors realize that they have um. That, uh, on dying or ruin is in play. All right, we do see Shaq Pallet going down here. The yeah, Adam is close. Pedro's is close to ruin or undying, so. Let's see what the survivors are doing. Oh, they do now. They now know that ruin's in play. Adam's getting chased here. It's going to hold that power up. Dead hard. It does get the pallet down. Oh, my goodness. Wait, that, no, that wasn't that hard. I'm sorry. I, it looked like it, but I forgot. He hasn't even been hooked yet. Catches Nemesis out here in the open. Michaela trying to go to Killer Shack, but it doesn't matter. There's no pallet here. We are going to see an M1 on Nemesis here. Corrupt just went down. We see our first generator popping for the survivors here. But we see two injured, uh, two injured survivors here. Not good. All right, Ace does go down here. We're gonna be seeing our first hook on the Ace now.
If Claim wants to win this set, they're going to have to get a 4K at three generators. Not two, three. If they do get a 4K at uh, two generators, it's going to be a tied set. We go into tiebreaker. I don't think two failure is going to let this happen. They're going to fight hard. Hate going, going to Killer Shack after taking an M1 hit here. We see a quick reset on Nemesis. They must have two survivors over there healing. Or maybe we'll make it, of course. All right, we are going to be seeing it down on Kate here. In the full reset on Nemesis and Snitch. We are going to be seeing our first hook coming on the Kate here. Nice. Still has Ruin and On Dying Up and still has three stacks of Pain Res. Looking very good for Claim here. See the unhook coming on the Kate here. Almost gets that on Nemesis, but unfortunately doesn't quite get the exact angle that was needed here to get a hit. Yep, we do see a hit on Nemesis here. Oh, almost gets that, but quite doesn't hit it. I'm gonna go over here. Maybe has a pal to work with. Doesn't matter. Does go down here. Survivors working on generators. About to have one pop. If the killer can maybe make it to a pain res, we'll see. Trying to make it. I don't know if they have enough time. Let's see. It's gonna be down to the last second. Oh my goodness. Oh, they pop it. We are going to be seeing a hook here. The first hook on Nemesis, which is the Michaela, And another generator popping for the survivors here. Ace got caught again. Has life. Able to make a little bit of distance. But not enough yet. Going to take an M1 here. Very nice. Was able to get that generator off at the last second. Oh, Pedro's coming in for the hit here on the A's. Going to gain a little bit more distance and make this chase just a little bit more longer. If I'm not mistaken, Ace is on only on first hook. But we have three fresh hooks here. And on, Pedro's the only one that hasn't been hooked yet. Oh my god, this 50-50 here. Oh, it does go down. We got Adam on a gen here. Kate as well. And Nemesis. All three survivors on gens. We are going to be seeing a second hook state here on uh, uh, Adam. I mean, um, on the ace. Sorry, I had to think for a second, guys. <laughs> Adam hasn't been hooked yet, so my bad. Adam's the only one that hasn't been hooked. But, okay, now Pedro's is getting chased. No balanced landing. I was really expecting to see a balanced landing coming in here. We do see a hit on Pedro's. Does get tormented. Goes for the unhook here. Pedro's goes down. They're going to go for the pickup here. One stack of pain res left. Uses it. Pedro's, the Adam does get hooked, so all killer survivors have been hooked. Survivors just need to pop two more gens here. Adam does have the uh, deliverance, and we are going to be seeing a gen pop here. Almost two. Oh my god, Pedro's got hit at the last. Wait. Wait, who? How? How? How did Pedro's go down? He didn't even mean to hit him! He didn't even mean to hit him, bro. What? I don't think he did, at least. That is going to be a second hook on the Adam. Dude, the ace gets away. What am I seeing here? Guys, I have no idea what happened there. I'm just as shocked as everybody else. They do finish the set. You failure wins it. 
Another generator pops here. Wait, what? That was crazy. He hit Pedro's trying to hit the ace. I'm still shocked by what I saw. Pedro's is dead here. Adam does get death hook. Let's see. We so far, we have two hooks on the ace here. We have death hook on Pedro's. One hook on the Kate and one hook on the Michaela here. Guys, I don't know what happened earlier, but I'm going to have to look back on the VOD. That was insane. Just amazing gameplay here. They held on to that last generator because they knew that if they finished it, that they won the set. So therefore, that was really nice. Oh, I'm sorry. We should We do have a down here on Nemesis. Nemesis is down here. Snitch probably going to be getting chased over here at main. Looking to pop this last generator. Snitch does go down again. Oh, we see the Mori on the ace here. An extra two points for the killer. Let's find Kate here. Alice landing. The Viper's just trying to hang on to a thread here and just try to survive. Maybe get another generator done. Oh, she did. Hey, the Kate does get the uh, blind here. Able to juke out the killer while Nemesis is doing a gin in the background. Very nice. Give me one second, guys. I'll be right back. I got to do something really fast here. Ready, we're back. Okay, we're just gonna be trying to get this knock, knock here. It does get the knock. Trinity's probably gonna try to go for Nemesis here. It really doesn't matter. The game's over. They won the set, but just trying to secure as many points. You know, just in case if it comes down like you know if if points were to win a set <laughs> yep that's fine nemesis here the executioner has no head on this pov his head is missing that is the weirdest shit I think I've ever seen before, guys. He just juke him out? Wow, Nemesis with the ankle breaker. Yeah, the executioner still has no head here. Does go down. Oh, 
Michaela is gonna get a second hook here. Yep, we're gonna be seeing a 28, 28 to 12 here, guys. All right. Let me reset this real quick for everybody. Hey, welcome in, everybody. We are on the tiebreaker set. Claim versus few failure. We have the Cinnabite on Eries of Crows. This map, you know, not too bad here. We're going to see how the player, the, the killer plays here. Going to be on the bottom side of, of, of this map here. Going towards Shaq. Trinity playing as the Cinnabite. See, we already got Adam, I mean Ace here, on the box. All right, we do see Pedro's taking the, the first chains here. Gonna go up on main. Let's we'll see how he plays this. Gonna see a pre-drop on this pallet. Wow, nice hit. Too bad he doesn't have uh, balance landing here. Pedro's taking a chase in main here. Let's see what he does. He doesn't have really nothing to work with. He will be taking an M1 here. Definitely after those chains. Wait, maybe he doesn't. Oh yeah, he knew that. The killer knew that. So we are gonna be seeing our first hit on Pedro's and overcome not getting as much value because he had to fall on the ground. Not good here. Free drop. Pedro's trying to do his best to survive here. Knows he's gonna go down. We are going to be seeing our first down here. We have a generator close to pop in. We have two generators close to pop in here. Corrupt is going to go down here. We're going to be seeing our first hook on Adam here. One stack of pain rest coming in. Very nice. They're going to go break the door on main. Looking around. All right, we see our first generator popping for the survivors here. Oh, we hear a generator almost close to popping. Do survivors get it? They do. Second gen popping. No pop. Pop goes the weasel coming in. This uh, Serenity deciding to go straight back to the on hook here. Or the people coming in. Try to stop the tunnel here. Ox is being worked on. Let's see what Claim's gonna do here. We have two generators pop. Oh, nice hit there. With the chain on the Atom, on Pedro's. Oh, we hear footsteps in the back. That might have been somebody trying to take a hit here. All right, nice hit. Oh, we see a survivor on one of the totems. Yep, we are gonna be seeing Snitch going for it. Very nice. Ruin is out of out of play now. We only have two perks up that are going to be able to be used, which is Pain Res and Pop. Knows that the Atom just cleansed the totem here, so he has to be lurking. He is lurking in main, but I think he knows that the Cinnabite's coming. So he's trying to make a little bit of distance. Doesn't want to get caught here. Ooh, Michaela getting chased here. Nemesis going to be taking an M1 here, I'm pretty sure. Yes, we do see an M1 coming. Trying to make it to Shaq. I don't think that she's going to make it there, unfortunately. We might be seeing our second down already here. Nemesis trying to stay alive as long as she can. Doesn't quite make it to that pallet. No, doesn't. Survivors are going to be doubling up. We're going to be seeing a gen pop here. Yep, we see us our third gen pop. For the survivors here, playing really well. And we're going to be seeing our first hook on the Michaela. Oh, here's, here's the Claudette going in for the on hook. She's not going to make it. We're going to be seeing an M1 here. Wait, maybe not. Maybe not. We do have the... Barely misses and gets the stun. 
Oh. The Cinnabite knows that the, the uh, that Claudette was going to stay around. Oh, we do see a hit. All survivors are injured besides Snitch here. He might be needing to go for the box. We are going to see the chain start to harass the survivors here. Better hope they have life. They don't. Chains aren't able to hit a balance landing, maybe? I couldn't tell if that was balance landing. The box. You opened it. Yeah, it was balance landing. And we see another generator popping for the survivors here. One left. Every survivor is now injured. They must they must be resetting at main. They are. This is going to be a really nice reset for them. Only two hooks. If you fail, you're coming insanely good in this game here. Against the Cinnabite. Claim is trying to hang on to a thread here, but unfortunately, I don't think this is going to happen. With the reset here, they're looking great. Trinity does find Pedro's here, but... Not in a good spot to go for a chase here. Does catch the Claudette out in the opening. Decides to go for them. Probably going to see a reset on the ace here. Claudette takes the chase to main. See what happens here. All right, we are going to be seeing Claudette going down here. I think this is going to be the first hook state for her see. That first hook for Claudette here. Another three points for the killer. Trying to do something here, man. Only three hook states. All of them are fresh hooks. on hook for the Claudette here. Is that the box is being worked on? I don't know exactly where. Oh, I thought it was on. Michaela had it. Nimbus is getting chased here. Has nothing to work with on this side. He's going to have to leave and go to a different uh, pallet. We do have a pallet here. But I don't think, yeah, this pallet's not no safe at all against the Cenobite. They're going to be seeing a knock on Nemesis here. Let's see what the other survivors are doing. We have doubled up on this gin here. There should be this. This is going to be the second hook state for Nemesis. The Michaela. <laughs> Kayla caught out in the opening. Gonna go down here again. Now you must come with me. Now you must come with me. Finally hear the Cenobite talk. That is gonna be death hook for the Michaela here. Nemesis goes out. Gonna be 13 points for the killer here. They need to be careful. Oh, they're three ginning it. Wow, we do see the gin pop. They, they stayed on that gin. Let's see what survivors are doing here. Oh, he does have Unbreakable and Deliverance here. Very nice. Got Claudette on the door here. Fox is not going to be able to be not be used to, you know, harass the survivors here. Ditch is probably running. Oh, goodness. This is very close here. Yep, she's going to be able to get the door open. Pedros gets back up. What does Snitch do here? They don't want to leave Pedros yet because he does have deliverance. He needs to get by Shaq at all cost. I mean, he makes it close enough. All right, let's see. Wait, has Pedro's been hooked? Oh, he has been. It doesn't matter. All right, so... Oh. A 
Priest and Claudette escape, and Pedro's gets hooked. So that's gonna be 19 for the killer, and let me check on the survivor. I don't know exactly. It's also survivors is gonna be 20 points. All right, guys, welcome back. We are on our last game of the tiebreaker set. Let's switch over to killer real quick. My bad. We have Pedro's killing for a few failure. As a sit by Iria Crows, of course. All right, let's see how we do here. You see our first perk coming in, of course, obviously. Corrupt intervention. Survivors are already on the gin. We have a gin in mid right here being worked on. It's very smart that they have Kenny here, the ace, doing the gym, because he wants to be basically the first survivor to be caught, right? Oh, we have two of them, yeah. Yep, and we see the Nia Daz here hiding, not trying to get caught at all. Hiding in a locker, too. No, it's because... That's actually very smart. Hides in a locker to stop the, the chains from getting hit on her. All right, we do hear chains outside of main. This is loser round, so whoever loses here, they do get eliminated. Wait, I think we saw some rubber banding there. I hope not. Oh, balanced landing coming in from the Nancy. Oh, no. Oh man, this is nerve-wracking. I totally forgot this was losers round one, so if any team loses here, they're eliminated from the tournament. Oh my god, Pedro trying to come in with the mind game of the century, but it doesn't work. Needs to be careful here. Survivors are probably really close to popping a gin. I did not mean to do that, sorry. Wait, we already see one generator pop in. My bad. I didn't even realize that. Nancy putting on one hell of a show right now. Seeing survivors double working on a generator here. Do they get this gen off before he gets pain res? No, they do not. But it's almost close to being done. We see our first hook on the Nancy here. That was a very long chase, and unfortunately for Pedro, that's not good. But he does have no edge, so he could come back here. We just gotta stop. As long as the, the Survivor Team claim doesn't get more than 20 points here, they he secures the win for, for failure. Probably said that name wrong at least 15 times this game. We see a second generator popping for the Survivors here. Only one hook state, man. Claim putting the pressure on Pedro's here. Wow, doesn't make it past that. He should have. It looked like he was. Rapid brutality coming in too. Get get a little bit of distance catched up here. He is gonna make it, I think, right? What? Oh my god, he gets harassed by all those chains. No, Pedro's doesn't quite make it. But he does get the mind game though. Gonna see it down on the ace here. Gonna be seeing their first hook on the ace. Who 
Aqua Generator close to being done, but can't kick it because of pain res. Probably a stellar survivor lurking around. We do see the unhook. Oh, Pedro's does not want to do that chase. No, not against her. Not with balance landing. Nancy's basically unstoppable here. Probably going to be seeing another generator pop, and this is not looking good. Pedro's hanging on by a thread here, man. You see that generator popping. It's going to be the third gen popping for the survivors here. Oh, Nancy has the gen almost done in main. No. Good at all, man. About to see another generator pop in here any second now. Yep, we see another generator pop in. And just wasn't able to get a good start here. We only have one gen left and only two hook states here. We have a generator close to pop in. This is not good for this new failure here. his absolute best to get something here but survivors are just playing very well here i mean it's anybody's game he can still win this we do have no in play and with rapid brutality if he gets a hit that's an instant down and 10 percent you know speed boost five percent or four percent i think i can't remember guys i don't use no ed so i don't really remember nancy taking him over to main Oh, no balance landing coming in. Barely any balance landing, I should say, because of uh, the chains. You opened it. I came. Wow, man. They're just playing really well. They got him away from the generator here. They're about to pop the last gen at any second now. Oh, man, this is not looking good. Pedro's is going to have to do something amazing here. We see the last generator popping for the survivors here. Nancy's instantly on a gate. They're already cleansing Noed. Already cleansing Noed here. Wow. Yeah, it's a GG's here. They're about Noed's about to be gone right now. Yep, Noed's gone. Only two hook states. They just have to leave. And they win this. Yep, the ace escapes. Nancy escapes. Adam escapes. The only one that didn't escape was Claudette here. So what? That's another two, like three, nine. Hold on. That's 16 points for the killer here. And then for the survivors, that's going to be 22, man. GG's. 22 points. That is going to be it for us, guys. You failure had a great set. So did Claim. But unfortunately, when it came down to the tiebreaker, Claim just proved that their Cinnabite was just a little bit stronger there and had very great, very great gameplay from both sides. And uh, GG's, man. And we'll see you guys in the next one.